Chris or Ryan? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, he's, he's good, I think. I just, you know, I, I called him actually after I posted it just to just check in with him and see how he's doing. I don't, I don't, I know he, he don't feel like that. I just don't want it. I don't ever want him to feel like we're taking advantage of how he's feeling and then we're posting it. Do you know what I mean? I don't think he thinks that. And I also think that it's, there's something in, like he wouldn't have talked to us about that on that Zoom call if he didn't want to say it. No. I just genuinely think it's important to, if it, it gets some kind of, the, the, you know, if it gets to one person, uh, to another man who's struggling to, you know, express, I know, I know it sounds all cheesy, man, but it's the truth, isn't it? Who's, who's feeling that way and they can, you know, if it can just help fucking one person, it's just the truth, isn't it? Absolutely, man. Well, I'll bring him in and I'll, how you doing, man? You good? Yeah, man. I, I, I hate I, I hate being like the, the guy that shows up after the fact, you know, because I feel like it, it feels like an awkward way to uh, get into the conversation after you guys. 15 have years and you still feel awkward. Uh, no, you know, it's all just kind of jokingly that I say this kind of stuff. You know? I know, I know. I'm joking, man. You know, I was we were I was we were just talking about you and I was and I was I was just about to say that I I. I wonder if this kind of thing makes you feel like us putting something like that out that, you know, felt personal or whatever. If it makes you feel like, like there, there've been times where I've put, where I've done like theater and I've shown like a, a part of me that was like, uh, you know, I, I didn't think I would show that personal aspect of me, but once I right. let it out, I'm like, I don't give a fuck anymore. I don't give a fuck anymore. People have seen it. Like, now they have to. They, now they have to accept me for who I am. Right. No, there's definitely there's definitely truth to that. Sorry, I'm just. Um, yeah. No, there's definitely truth to that. I mean, it's just like I think I've realized uh, that what when like when when I have low moments, like it, I don't know what it is. Like I'll have a low moment for like a day or two, and it will literally feel like the world. Like there was literally nothing to live for, and it just happens in like tsunamis. Right. that lasts for like an entire day. I don't know, just something, like it's something like, doesn't work out and like it, it just- This helps you, man. But whenever I'm just having a bad day, like we all do, I just say to myself, I'm having a shit day, man. Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I think- I just accept it. I go like, I'm not, I'm having a shit day. I don't feel good. Everything's going wrong. It has, you know, once you kind of accept it, like anything yeah. in life, do you know what I mean? Instead of like blowing it out and going, if you just go, oh, I'm just having a really fucking crap day today, man. Yeah. No, I, I agree, man. Because like then, you know, uh, I, you, you look at it, it's like, okay, well, yeah, that day was shitty. But you know what? Two days after that was actually a really good day where a lot exactly. of things went exactly. well. So it's like, I guess like when it happens that day, like the thought of tomorrow feels like light yeah, years course. away, you know? But then you wake up in a different mindset and you're like, oh, today's okay. Yeah, no, I, 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 I or, or yeah, but it's like the stupidest little things like if you send an email and like or send a text message to someone and it doesn't they're not responding they, they haven't responded in a long time you start to get paranoid like oh my god do they like did i say something to piss them off like are, is this like like you start to get it's like the stupidest like paranoia and this is just i think social media has like caused a lot of this but um but like that's like the, that's like a very tiny version of it but um yeah, but I but I also think like look, I mean, I I just I unfortunately have that kind of mentality where it's I act like I act like I don't want attention, but I do want attention. It's kind of like one of those you things. Know, that, you know, we all we all want that. Yeah, yeah. we all, all want like, people to understand that we're going through shit. Right. But that, that's all right. You should just be like to you know like boys. I need to talk or people that you trust. You'd be like, it's good to have me. You know what I mean? That's good, man. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just, you know, upset that we can't do like virtual oral. <laughs> it, it can be arranged. I mean, like, you know, the future uh, awaits. <laughs> Yo, Tobias, just uh, yes, this is, there's no, I have no uh, segue into this, no proper segue, but sure. your, why do you not stay with your mom? Where's, where's your mom at? She's at her house, but my, my dad stays at his girlfriend's place. He doesn't really stay as that. And because, listen, man, you know oh. I love my mother, right? I love that woman. I've put, I've, I've, you know, I've put my life on the line for her, I've, you know, but 
if I'm with her for too long, I want to strangle her. Really? I, oh I, I, I definitely get that. Oh my God. Like, because I'm her only child, she still thinks I'm a, she, it all comes from a good place, but it's just like, I'm, I'm getting spoken to and treated like I'm oh, a dude. Girl. I, I just I, love. I, I relate own. completely. Relate to this, and I love my own space. <laughs> tubby, Tubby, what do you want for dinner? Oh I'm my all, god! I'll have dinner when I want to cook dinner. Just I know it all. It's all coming from a good. But I just like. It's just like yeah. yeah. I can't have it. So that's why I'm as. <laughs> no, no, no. My my mom is the, is the same way. And just before I moved too, it was just like, can I do this for you? Can I do this for you? Like yeah. mom, 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 I'm good. All right. Well, uh, I can imagine you that you're you're quite good with it, man. You you're probably with me and my short patience and my temper. I'm just like, and afterwards I feel terrible. I'm like, yeah, fucking wait, go away. Oh, and then I ring her afterwards. and go, mum, are you all right? And oh goes, my god, you, like, this is like, I mean, this is like the parallels are hilarious. <laughs> it's like it's like, uh, I mean, well, my my mother like did worked in sales for like twenty years, so she oh, like man. is very relentless and like, do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want it? Like, do you want do you want green tea? Do you want green tea? You, I'm like, no, mom, I'm fine. Do you want green tea? Do you want green tea? Do you want green tea? I'm like, I mean, mom, I've literally told you ninety four times that I don't want green tea, and then she'll ask the ninety fifth time. You know, <laughs> uh, it's just. You know, but that's just like, you know, that's... Listen, you've got to, at the end of the day, you've got to be grateful, haven't you? The fact that you're loved. Yeah, of course, yeah. But can you Same be... all uh, of us, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's can be, especially if you're a grown-up man and stuff, it's annoying, but like... That you, that you feel like this is a place all to your own? I love my own space, man. I just love... I'm not one... I love my own company. Do you know what I mean? I'm not someone... You know, yeah, do you know yeah, one yeah. of these people, like, when I was younger, right, I used to be like... You know, you, you, you don't want to be a loner, do you? You want to be like, oh, I've got to be popular. I've got to be. And then you, as I've got older, it's like, no, I fucking love being on my own. Yeah. Not on my own, yeah. not all the time, but like, I love my own company. I yeah. love to read and just do boxing. I, you know what I mean? Do you get it? I get that. But I do feel like I, I kind of, I don't know. I feel like I do get lonely, like, after like a very short amount of time. Like, I feel like yeah. I want my own space forever, but like, uh, People just get on my nerves lately. No, I, I, I believe me, I get that. I just, uh, oh, my, my, yeah. seriously, my patient, like you go out and you go shot. Listen, the COVID thing, you know, whether you agree with it or not, or everything, like I can't stand people invading my space before COVID. Right, you know, right. Like, you, you go out shopping or something, and like they're just there. You know, like, oh, gosh, no way. I had to walk out of the supermarket the other day. Yeah. I was just like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit someone. I mean, like, yeah, I, I just, uh, I mean, like, uh, uh, device, I literally feel like my penis is inside your ass right now. Because we're like one in the same, you know, like. Uh, <laughs> it would be the other way around, but yeah. I mean, I feel like, I feel like you'd be the one that people would think is a top, but you're a bottom. <laughs> I'd, I'd be the bottom for you, baby, all day long. Yeah. Well, I mean, like. Uh, yeah. No, you're all right. Hold on, let me see what's up. Oh, shit. Ah, he's going to get a. Uh, Mazin, those are really tight pants. <laughs> Hi, Tobias. Stop it, darling. Honey. You know what, oh my God! What is that? Is that a fire fire uh, smoke detector? The haunting of Mazin's house. Yeah, why, why, that'd be so funny if he comes back out and he's white. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's like a, that's like a real haunting. <laughs> but imagine how weird. That's an interesting idea for like a, you know, like a black just family. Goes, back and he's got like a knife in him. So no, seriously, like, a, bla a black a family. A, no, seriously, a black family moves into an urban black family moves into a house and they and the house is haunted and they slowly start turning into white people. <laughs> what is this premise? <laughs> Madison, do, you, do you like that idea? It's like a like a, a, a an urban black family. Like Ice Cube is the father. You know, like they. they <laughs> <laughs> you know, like jaded pink, it's the white, you know, like they, they move into a, you know, suburban house and, uh, and, it, and they find out it's haunted and they slowly start turning into white people. <laughs> Does oh, that sound like box office to you? That's really interesting, actually. Is that kind of interesting? <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. Naz, you've been smoking. It's, it's one of those ideas that I hear that I'm like, that's crazy. But I go, but my, my artist brain goes, I wonder if you can make it work. It's just because the layer is so smart, right? Of just like, 
it's the second layer of like just going into a like culturally becoming white or whatever when you go I'm, to a different place. I'm literally writing this idea down. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maz, how many how many women we got lined up for Chris now in Toronto? <laughs> I need a Canadian. Canadian lady, yeah. It's the, we're in the process. Don't worry, I've, I've got it sorted, baby. Are you, are you talking about a hooker? Or are you going to pay for one? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm leaving it to the Elsa digs, you know what I mean? I think you we know got, when Daniel... I think we got three right now, but... Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are, you being, are you being serious? <laughs> no. Oh, don't but, do uh, that. We will. Oh, we will. Don't you, don't you worry. If the ticket is bought... So, so, so basically, I'm, <laughs> so basically, I'm, basically, I'm paying. I'm paying for the girl, basically. No, no, no. Wait, what? What'd you say after the ticket? What? What? What made Tobias? When you buy the ticket, the pussies will be open. <laughs> okay, so it's like it's like if you build it, they will come. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, now nah, that sounds like a plan. Boys, I'm gonna go to bed in about ten minutes, but I want Von Hoffman. I want you to set the scene amsterdam 2010 okay let's set uh, the scene. do you want to know you want to know words me and maz are going to sit back and you're going to take us back there okay <laughs> uh well it's 2010 uh this sex show like we you know we went to it and you know it was a bunch of like kind of mechanical robots having sex and then and then like you know they did like a stripper acts and then someone was asking you know a check is a lucky and eastern european chick was like asking you know um you know volunteers yeah, volunteers would get up on stage and, and, and Daniel was like, dude, I'm going to be so edgy when we go to Europe and he didn't do shit. <laughs> uh, you know, and like Tobias and I like raised our hands and we went up there and a couple other guys. And remember there was like some guy dressed up as a bear or something running around. And, 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 then, and then, yeah, there's some weird shit. And like, and then we lied. And then we lied on the, uh, she lied on her back and spread her legs and, and she had a banana like inside her pussy. And uh, and and basically, we all took turns like biting pieces out of it. <laughs> and you know, one person bites a piece, another person bites a piece. I bite a piece. You know, so it's all very like nice, casual. Like, and then and then Tobias gets up in line, and he's like, "Oh no!" <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and she like pushed his head away. She's like, "Whoa, whoa!" <laughs> like it got like so intense for like thirty seconds. She was like, "Whoa, <laughs> whoa!" <laughs> no, I was like, I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I know he was just like I just remember he, you just you, just, you were like I'm going for it you were just like <laughs> yeah it, it was dude it was super like he got really aggressive I, I just remember I just remember when she pushed his head away she was like easy easy <laughs> <laughs> oh that's made my week man remember all those guys we were waiting and all those like teenage British oh yeah he's out. not a virgin anymore <laughs> he's not a virgin He's not a virgin anymore. Yeah, I, I, yeah and, and Tobias like turned over to us. He was like, he lost his virginity. It's like, Tobias, <laughs> we know. <laughs> I love you, Tobias. You're so cute.